If I'm going to be known for anything, it'll be for these four things. One, I suck at counting. Two, I take the occasional pleasure in the popping of heads like watermelons. And three, I'm a few Fruit Loops short from a full bowl of cereal. So, naturally, Deadpool in all its insane head-popping glory really spoke to me on an emotional level. There is but one rule for this run to be done, which is that I can't use any of the fun guns that Deadpool is able to pull out at seemingly any moment. Starting things off, I chose the Ultra Violence difficulty. Why? Because I'm stupid. Growing up, I never ate any of the veggies on my plate, so now I have a malnourished brain. Look at poor old me. I have no idea of the pain that's in store. Anyways, the game started off in Deadpool's sorry excuse for an apartment. Doggy. Explore the doggy? <laughs> so, how's the ball looking coming along? Aww. I then got to the sewers, and sanitation-wise, this was actually an improvement from Wade's apartment. Oh, this is not good. I basically tickle them with my katanas. Look how little damage that is. Oh. Ooh, I decapitated that guy. What? It, are are you serious? What are we doing right now? Boing, 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 boing. Banana. It's the guy from Fortnite. Stop making that joke, because it works with literally everything. Eventually, they're going to be like, oh, cool. Did you see the Obama skin they added? <laughs> I opened up a loot box and got Bill Clinton. I can't wait to try him out. <laughs> After rolling around in fecal matter and blood for way longer than I'd prefer, I broke into this skyscraper. My job is to find the big boss around here and assassinate him. <laughs> assassinate? <laughs> it, it has the butt word in it. Oh. Me after Taco Bell, am I right? Okay, I, I need- sure I make puns, but I need to hold myself to a higher level than that. That's embarrassing, I'm sorry. Can you beat any game without making jokes? That's- that's a nice way of telling me to shut up. Shoot what? I'm not paying attention. The red box. But unfortunately, a lockdown then kicked in, and I was forced to shoot once in order to continue. But don't worry, after that, it was back to making human katana kebabs. If I was forced to shoot somebody, I would have hoped that it would at least be like a guy that I would have gotten to kill. Elevators are disabled? Yeah, just like these cards, because I'm about to destroy them. Wow, I, did I seriously just... Okay, apparently just like me instead. I died here more times than I'd like to admit, but at least I finished it off. And what was my reward for fighting so perilously? Well, an elevator ride that forced me to shoot. Oh, well, at least it was over. A one and done thing. Or that's what I would be saying if there wasn't another mother <laughs> you <laughs> elevator which forced me to shoot again. Ah, <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Let's relax, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> okay, okay. I know it always cheers me up when I'm in a rough mood. More murder. So let's clean this building out. What's with all this pent-up aggression that you guys keep on throwing at me? You know, I I could do a lot of therapy. I could work as your therapist. Or, you know, you could just murder me. That works as well. Yeah, see, hear that voice? Is that in my head? Do you guys hear that as well? Wow, I really put the dead into Deadpool, huh? Huh? Editor, you can just put in a laugh track right after that. Crap, I really need to heal. Would you mind a little tea break? Perfect. Okay, now we can get back to the slaughtering. I appreciate you waiting. Maybe playing on the hardest difficulty with a challenge on my first playthrough was not the best idea, but hey, I'm not known for my good ideas, so. Did I seriously die again? Oh my god. Fire in the hole. That's what I say after I eat Taco Bell. You know what I mean. <laughs> this is nothing. It gets even harder. That's... That's what your mom said last night. Wait, no. I'm so close to getting the hammers. Hammer farming? Wait, do you get points if you do this over and over? Is that how that works? I don't think it is. I know I'm out of my league, bro. You do not need to tell me. I figured that much after my 10th consecutive death to the same five enemies. I then followed my target all the way to the roof where there were even more plumpy sacks of meat for me to practice my katana swings with. Make sure to get my good side. That's a joke. All my sides are my good sides. I mean, have you seen my face? Actually, never mind. The guards were surprisingly easy, but what wasn't was what came next. I had to 1v1 
a helicopter. That's just not fair. I have like two kitchen knives while it has a minigun, which is a stupid name because there was nothing mini about the bullets that were ripping my flesh apart. Oh yes, finally the helicopter. We're right behind it. Um, now what do I do? Yes, it's finally done. There was then a forced turret section, and as much as it sucked to fail the challenge again, I still did enjoy deleting people from existence with the minigun. This gun is so loud I can barely hear the voices in my head. It's actually kind of refreshing. Oh look! I then got my hammers, which will be my new weapon of choice for the sheer amount of damage they do, which is still not a lot because this is the hardest difficulty, but still. Now back inside, I had my first boss fight, which... Uh... Was not much fun. My strategy here was to Nagasaki this poor dude and use every single explosive I had on me. Ooh, landmines. These are fun. Oh, oh, the fact that I can't use this is a crime against humanity. Are you serious? I have to leave that beautiful, that hurts, that hurts. Oh my, I thought I just murdered you. Or was that your twin? Oh, I ran out of bear traps. Sorry, I'm not really prepared for you right now. Would you mind waiting a second? You're like Deadpool if he was a YouTuber and not funny. This panic room is impenetrable. You know what wasn't impenetrable? Your father, last night. I have two more bear traps. That upgrade gave me two more bear traps. That's literally perfect. That's what I need, baby. Oh yes, that's literally all I ever needed. Oh, okay. I finally got to our target, who turned out to just be a less chunky version of Kingpin with hair. But just as his face and my fist started to catch up, he slipped out of our grasp once again, and we were back into the sewers. Mr. Deadpool, we ran out of money and this is what we get. What, we ran out of money in the game development? All right. Oh, hey, uh, would you mind not shooting me, please? I've had a rough day. Boss fight Im imminent? Who uses the word imminent? What are you, a 15th century scholar? I've literally never ever heard anybody use the word imminent in an actual sentence. Oh, great. After catching more diseases than I thought possible by swimming around in poop water, I had to fight a big green guy who looked a lot like if Killer Croc and Hulk did the hanky panky. Wow, first a kingpin knockoff and now this? What, next you're gonna tell me there's a deathstroke knockoff whose only difference is a slight change in name and a constant breaking of the fourth wall. Apologies, it seems I've gone off on a tangent. Let's go back to murdering people in the sewer, shall we? I was... I was making a joke there, big guy. If you if you would have let me finish, that would have been appreciated. Please hold still for un segundo, por favor, mis amigo. And you're doing a great job there, bud. Oh, hi. Ow. That guy's one kick did half my health bar. Oh, wow. Great a boss fight, because it definitely wasn't hard enough. Next up was Arclight, and my only real strategy here was to punch her as hard as possible. Yeah, it was pretty fun. You ain't the only one with power, little geek. L geek again? <laughs> what is up with your trash talk, lady? Yes! Okay, well that was painful. The next super mutant was Vertigo, with the power of giving you Vertigo. Not really a superpower, is it? Maybe a power, but I wouldn't really call it super. Just like slightly. Is this really your only superpower? Is just to make the screen slightly annoying? Holy crap. Why are there shadow demons? This lady's power is so lame. It's literally just to make me get a headache. <laughs> yeah. Her weakness is just, uh, <laughs> just some Tylenol. And we seriously just lost to the throw up lady. Wow. Okay. Then I found myself literally just going down a water slide that was full of sewage. A sewage slide. And no joke, I died here more times than I did to Vertigo. I just shower with my clothes on, you know what I mean? That way you don't have to do laundry. You can kill two birds with one stone. Next up, I ran into somebody cosplaying as Dracula, and I also found our fake kingpin. Unfortunately though, Dracula stole my kill. Holy crap, oh that- Kill stealer. That was my kill. He gave me a little bit of a forceful hug. Why is this happening? Who is this villain? Holy crap. 
and ran off to an island called Janisha. So after growing my body back, I expertly flew there. Wait, I've had- what is this attack? Oh, I could also aim. I did not know I could target people like this. Maybe that would have been slightly helpful for all those times I kept on dying. Janisha was fun. I ran into this goth sumo wrestler who just loved giving me back-breaking hugs. Unfortunately, I did have to blow him up alongside every single living thing on this island. I've noticed that if I absolutely just hammer everything in my path, uh, it, everything kind of works out. Ow. Ow, it's not working out. It's not working out. Yeah, this part is hard. Good luck. Try lowering the difficulty. How about you... I was gonna say something mean, but no, I'm keeping the difficulty up. I was gonna say something mean, but then my can my inner Canadian nature kicked back in. And I was like, <laughs> I, s I suddenly stopped. Nice try, big boy. Well, we all know Canada isn't real. I can't imagine Australia being a real place, though. Like, why would you live in a place where there's spiders everywhere that could easily kill you with one bite? Like, in Australia, I'm pretty sure the spiders are the size of dogs. Why would you live there? It sounds like a, a beta for hell. After eliminating everything that had the capacity to breathe, I met up with Cable, a man who came from the future where blah, 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 blah. I got bored. Wait, does that count? Eh, you can add that to the counter. Anyways, time for more clone murder. Well, at least your sleep paralysis demon is fun. Mine is so boring. It's just a little shadow guy who keeps on popping up everywhere. Honestly, this sucked. I didn't like it. Shocking, I know, right? Me, not enjoying murder? Well, it's mainly because this section was super tough, but it was bearable. And then came across this wizard. I would tell you why this is hard, but you could just use your eyes. He's floating 10 feet up in the air. And also, oh yeah, he's incredibly murderous. My strategy here was to double jump and blindly swing at him hoping for a hit. This worked like 5% of the time, so this took a while. I haven't even got to this point. They've been... Holy crap. I'm... They are so much farther ahead than me. Do we just gotta kill them all? We gotta kill them all. That's just perfect. Why are we not hitting them? You know what? Did Deadpool just have a stroke or something? Hey, buddy, could you move? Oh, yes. Oh, we actually got a kind of a combo on him there. Bro, do you love your fans? Do you or not? Uh, not fans like you. You're annoying. <laughs> and I I don't have to. Finally, is that done? Oh, and there's more of you. That's just great. Alas, I had finally done it. It had taken damn near forever, but the wizard was finally dead and I could progress. Yup, I could progress right into another wizard. God damn it. At this point, I fully broke down and just resolved to lowering the difficulty to normal. Hey, I may be a masochist, but I can only take so much. Now on a difficulty that didn't make me want to paint the ceiling with my brains, I had to take out Sinister's tower. Oh. Yay! <laughs> All right, now this is what I can get behind. I've been through so much pain, at least I get to inflict it on somebody else. This game in GTA, the only games that let me torture other people. Chat must love this right now. They feed off of pain like vampires. That wasn't sinister, that was a clone! It turns out though that this was just a clone. So in order to actually get to sinister, I had to find some parts to repair a plane. Wait, what? Okay, this place is messed up beyond belief. They have two men's bathroom right next to each other. Don't ask why I was looking if there was a woman's bathroom. But... Where are they supposed to go? Yes, this isn't a gun. It's... This is allowed. You can't tell me what to do. This is allowed. This is definitely allowed. After collecting all the parts, I got into yet another force turret section. Oh no. I have to vaporize all these poor goons with these fun balls of electricity? I mean... Oh no, what a shame. I have to lose the challenge again. Oh no. Yeah, fixing... Yeah, that's what I do with my PC. It's just whenever it stops working, just hit it. Okay, gotta do this. Oh. Uh-oh. I, I didn't realize that was the nuke button. 
Yes, I finally get to take my revenge on flying guys. Oh, I cannot tell you how amazing that feels. Surprisingly, Wade isn't the best pilot and crashed. Actually, he might have done that on purpose. I can never tell with him. Anyways, I crash landed into a prison and had to save Jean Grey. No, dog, please. That's my dog, what the hell? Could you give me a hand? <laughs> oh, what happened to this bathroom? Let me guess. They started serving Taco Bell at the cafeterias. <laughs> There's a big guy. Damn, he has my interest. What are you doing? <laughs> She's about to murder me, isn't she? Oh, it was a guy all along. I then killed yet another sinister clone because eh, I kind of just felt like it. You know, I was in the murderous mood. And then I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I went on to back to saving Jean. I almost completely forgot about her. Yeah, she's getting tortured or something. To be honest, I wasn't really paying much attention. I'm sorry. Jean was being guarded by Blockbuster, who I mean is cool and all, but uh, how do I say this without hurting his feelings? Okay, look, he's just really lame. I mean, at least the throw-up lady had a power. All this guy has is hair loss and some nice pecs. Not surprisingly, he went down very easily. Ah, oh, Blockbuster's gone. Just like real life. Then things got weird. Like, we're now playing as Jean Grey kind of weird. Did she just steal our mask? Wait, what? Oh, we don't even have guns. Oh, this is amazing. So this is what being like a woman is like. Being a female was fun while it lasted, but the developers ran out of story for us to do, so they threw us into a random catacomb for us to kill skeletons and trip out. This was cool and all, but it doesn't really relate back to the story at all. Which is what really matters here. I'll let you know that I played Deadpool for the plot. Eh, let's just get back to the killing. This is exactly uh, what I wanted this game to be. <laughs> did, did that fart just kill that guy, Deadpool? This is not a gun, okay? If I even hear one person in the comments like, uh, actually he failed this part because he was shooting. Bro, let me just chill, okay? I didn't realize I would have to actually deal with my inner trauma. That's not fun. Murder's fun. This is not fun. Can you die in this game? Um, uh, uh, no, I don't think, no, no, I don't, hmm, if I really think about it. Editor, you could just cut in all, every single time I've ever died there. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot. There's definitely a lot. Ew, Deadpool doesn't have any nipples. Don't ask why I was looking, but I realized he doesn't. Getting back to the story, I was on Janisha, and this is the biggest fight so far. Two emo sumo wrestlers and one wizard all at the same time. Needless to say, I'm gonna have nightmares about this fight later. Okay. Please. Oh, thank you. Okay, everybody's dead except you. I can't handle this anymore. No. How many times do I have to murder you for you to learn your lesson? This is so stupid. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm getting in way more consistent hits from this angle. Stop. Stop. I said stop. I said stop. Okay. Okay, he's wasting all his shots on that plant. Finally! Thank you for blowing yourself up. I appreciate it. Surprisingly, I then learned that I could just run past all the enemies. It's a shame that I learned this after I murdered all of them. Did I seriously- I could have just skipped that fight and I- where am I supposed to be going? Hey, does anybody have uh, directions to Sinister's Evil Base? No? That's all right, I'll try to find it on Google Maps. Hello, I'm just squeezing on by, don't mind me. Just gonna see your boss, I have an appointment, don't worry, I pre-booked it. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. Oh, it's a suicide conga line. That was fun. Oh, it's the dog. Dog who ate my, uh, sh my leg. I look away for one second, okay? No, please don't tell me this is a shooting area. No, how about we talk it out, huh? Oh, never mind. I do have grenades. You guys can take those. Yes, slow mo grenades. You know, the brain damage comes after I hit you, right? Not before. I, I think this is some sort of mating ritual that the AI is doing. Oh, yes. 
Didn't know that rockets work off of just bananas and beer. What's this baby hit 69.9 miles per hour? <laughs> oh. Deadpool, quick question, where did you get your driver's license? Just curious. Next up was the floating city where Sinister's base is, and again, I ran past all the enemies. But the one thing I couldn't run away from was how horrible I am at parkour. Seriously, I died more times to Newton and his stupid invention of gravity than I did to actual enemies here. Man, this maze is just... <laughs> I don't even know if your feeble minds could handle this button, but don't worry, I'll say it. Amazing. <laughs> oh, hi, big guy. Finally, I arrived at the final arena, where I was immediately greeted by three sweaty 400-pound men, which I could only really handle with bear traps. I can't just leave. I can't just leave. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, got two of them in a... Two of them in bear traps. That's perfect. Oh, I got them all in bear traps. That's literally genius of me. That guy's not even stuck in a bear trap. He's just taking it. You, are you into this? Ah, How do I get up there? You know, you guys don't make this place very wheelchair accessible. There's no ramps. And look at this. This is definitely some sort of health code violation. Finally, though, it was time for the big boss fight. I had to fight all of our worst enemies at the same time. My only real strategy here was to build up as much momentum as possible, as it does a buttload of damage and also makes me invincible, which I really needed. That's not how ghosts work. Ghosts can't have concussions. Thank you for waiting. I'm gonna take care of the lady first. You know, ladies first and all. You're welcome. Ow. Oh, we. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that either. I hate wizards so much. I swear, I see one more Harry Potter looking <laughs> guy, and uh, th th they're gonna be gone. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose this challenge to the puke lady because I can't even get up there. This is so stupid. Whew, that was a close, but really great fight. Oh wait, yeah, uh, Vertigo. Yeah, you're here, I kind of forgot about you. That's my bad, I could take care of you now. And... Wait. Wait, 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 <laughs> you've gotta be kidding me. She's too far for me to hit. Oh my, I went all of this way, I did, I went through all that pain, I went through all that. <laughs> and she can only be shot. Oh, that's just, you know what, that's perfect, that's... Yeah, just add one to the counter. Unfortunately, I had to implant a bullet into Vertigo's brain. Yes, that's literally how the video ends. I lost to Vertigo. My god, I hate my life. <laughs>